Después de sus primeros partidos con la Universidad de Connecticut, Kareem Jackson decide pasear por su nueva ciudad, pero no solo decide pasear, sino que le recomiendan un lugar en especial a donde él siempre había querido ir. Ya habíamos visto que se puso un tatuaje por la zona del cuello, pero decidió comenzar todo un trabajo que llevará mucho tiempo, largas esperas, mucho trabajo es un tatuaje. Llega a The Pit, recomendado por distintos miembros de la comunidad universitaria, hacerse todo un trabajo en su brazo derecho. Y el resultado fue algo fenomenal. Y esto es solo un proceso. Este es apenas el primero de muchos tatuajes en el brazo de Kareem Jackson y en todo su cuerpo que él considera debe ser una obra de arte. Hey, les estudios, bienvenidos a Casa Deportes, bienvenidos al episodio número 4 en el NBA 2K16 con Kareem Jackson en la universidad y vemos que siguen hablando del Kareem Jackson que ahora tiene un tatuaje en el brazo que les quería mostrar porque a mí me gustan mucho los tatuajes y esto va a ser un trabajo que iremos haciendo con cada episodio y algo que me pidieron, estamos en la universidad y estos son nuestros últimos dos partidos, vemos que todos están hablando de nosotros, estamos proyectados a ser una de las primeras 10 elecciones del draft, algo que siempre es importantísimo y con lo que hemos desplegado dentro de las duelas universitarias todo parece ser que estos rumores estas proyecciones son completamente ciertas así que nuestro siguiente partido con los Huskies es aquí en nuestra arena, en nuestra hermosísima arena yo tendría que decir en un ambiente fenomenal y vemos que ahí todos nuestros compañeros de 17, 18 años, algunos de 19, 20, lucen como personas normales si lo podemos llamar así no pero Karim Jackson resalta sobre ellos y no solo por el trabajo que se ha hecho en su hombro derecho que ya vamos a ir trabajando como les comentaba, esto es un proceso, estos son años, vamos viendo la vida de Kareem Jackson y cómo va evolucionando conforme van pasando las cosas dentro y fuera de las duelas del NBA 2K16 de la universidad y muy pronto de la NBA si es que consigue destacar en partidos como estos contra los Texas Longhorns, aquí pedimos el bloqueo a nuestro compañero que es nada más y nada menos que la reencarnación de Dwight Howard, o qué demonios el mate grosero en toda la cara, el póster lo sacó y aquí vemos que íbamos por el rebote defensivo pero lo consigue nuestro compañero, nos vamos de costa a costa de este o este y si ya funcionó una vez, ¿por qué no? Otra vez aquí hacemos los pasos de baile, los pasos de drible y Karim Jackson entrando en la pintura bajo el aro, consigue los puntos freaking and vibing Sick bro, get affiliated and you pussy rappers need stimulated and you're not dope you've been manipulated and you're not sick you're a healthy patient, got brass knuckles and stuff and you want this hating and you haven't hustled, you just take vacations you don't know the struggle of days in the basement you sit on your ass until your life is wasted you lack the drive and then you lack the patience, please step aside from my world. Por eso llaman a Karim Jackson freaking, freaking Freaking and vibrant. Dios mío, está horrible ese apodo. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué nos hiciste así Spike Lee mientras hacemos un alley -oop? Frequency Vibrations y ese es el paso de baile como de Freaking and Vibing. Está, está horrible, pero pues bueno, vamos a consentir a NBA, no a Spike Lee. Si él quería ponerla así, es por algo. Aquí conseguimos el rebote defensivo, nos vamos de costa a costa, de este a oeste, de norte a sur, de sudeste a noroeste. No, y no, caso sería de sudeste a noreste, ¿no? Sí. Aquí ya ganamos este partido contra los Texas Longhorns. Otro partido en la bolsa de Kareem Jackson y de la Universidad de Connecticut, los Huskies. Otro partido en donde brillamos, pero... Pero los scouts no consideran esto. Y vemos que bajamos nuestra proyección en el draft. Y no entiendo por qué en ese partido registramos 8 puntos, que yo sé que es muy poco, pero me sacaron de cambio. Y además son solo 2 cuartos de 6 minutos. Y 10 asistencias, o sea, somos un armador que estamos desarrollando nuestro juego, vamos a anotar 20 puntos, 10 asistencias, ¿en qué quieres que estemos jugando? 8 minutos de partido en la universidad, pero pues bueno, aquí vemos que el, el super agente Don Pagnotti, o Don Pagnotti, asistirá al partido de campeonato universitario para ver a Frequency Vibrations, mejor, mejor conocido como Kareem Jackson, en la sección de comentarios ustedes también, ustedes también pueden recomendar un apodo para Kareem Jackson, ya les yo daba unas recomendaciones mientras vemos, now watch me, Now watch me, nene. Ahí el baile de nuestro compañero Sims, Joseph Jackson. Aquí estamos en la final universitaria. Hemos llegado hasta aquí. El último partido en la universidad son solo cuatro partidos. Leales YouTube ya se los comentaba en el episodio pasado. Que si no lo han visto y son nuevos en esta serie, se los recomiendo totalmente para que entren de lleno a la historia de Karim Jackson con subtítulos en español. Por si los han visto en inglés, no saben hablar muy bien. Lo que sea, aquí, está, aquí estoy dejando estos videos porque me los pidieron. Y para eso mismo, para que vean la historia de Karim Jackson, la historia del NBA 2K16 adaptada con subtítulos en español bajo los comentarios. 
comentarios de KC Deportes y la vida de Karim Jackson. El rebote defensivo y otra vez de costa a costa. Vean a Karim Jackson como todo un tractor, como Jerome Bettis, el exjugador de los Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, no sé qué hace la NFL aquí, pero es que de verdad me recordó a Jerome Bettis, el camión. Y ahora aquí vean el paso de baile, aquí la media vuelta, otra media vuelta. Encontramos a Joseph pidiendo la mesa para tres. Sí, señor, la asistencia para Karim Jackson. Los tres puntos sencillos. Estamos arriba en el marcador 36 a 40. Nos hacen la falta. Ya estamos en la línea de tiros libres. Deberían estar cantando MVP. MVP. Porque 12 puntos, 9 asistencias a una asistencia de la doble docena. De, de la doble decena. La doble docena. Ya que, que es esta la película de más barato por docena. No, de la doble decena. Pero como no, estamos en los últimos segundos y vamos ganando por 6, van a intentar hacernos faltas. Eso hicieron todo al final del partido. Este partido, este partido se acabó mientras van a intentar el triple. Intentamos hacer el bloqueo, pero no lo conseguimos. Somos los campeones nacionales. Los Huskies de Connecticut lo consiguieron. Bajo el mandato, aunque suene feo, mandato de Karim Jackson. Aquí vean celebrando con nuestros compañeros 36 a 42. Y viene una decisión muy importante en la vida de Karim Jackson. Que ustedes van a estar viendo en toda esta animación, o mejor dicho, en toda esta escena de esta película de Karim Jackson. Vamos a ver. Hello. Hey, Ma, it's me. Hey, Frequency. Uh, I got you on speakerphone. Okay, your sister there? Hey, Mama, I'm right here. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm fine. You bet's here too, Mama. Hi, Mama. How you doing? I'm fine. Does she have to be here? Yes. Mr. Pagnotti, the agent I was telling you about, he's in the room too. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Nice to meet you. What a pleasure to finally meet the queen mother of this young, talented man, even if only by telephone. That's sweet. Hang on, Frequency. Here comes your father. All right. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hope everyone's well. How hey, you doing, Daddy. Mr. Pops? I'm doing good. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do this. We all know why we're here. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Didn't happen. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche means understand in Italian. Capiche? Capiche. Capiche. Freak insisted that I have his entire family here. And I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time. And I work with some of the best. Now, let me rephrase that. I work with the best. And the best always seem to have a great support system around them. A family, if you will, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move right now. And when you sign with me, Dom Pagnotti, as your agent, I will make sure you are well taken care of. I will make sure you are protected. With this freaking and vibing, I love it. Freaking and vibing. This freaking and vibing thing you do when you get hot freak, we're gonna make you more money off the court than you will on. We already have endorsements and things like that in mind, so. Cece, I said we because we're gonna do this together. We're a team. We're team freak. But freak, you need to be in the league first, right? That's why I'm here. No, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. That's the plan, man. That's right. Plans change, change freak. freak. Listen. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move. This is the right move now. And four years of college is a great plan for basically anybody. But you're not just anybody. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen shoot, dribble, pass, and defend the basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Martha, Mr. Pete, I have seen so many of the greats jump right from high school to the pros. Freak, you've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Do you know how many people would love to be in those Jordans right now? Yeah, Freak, I mean, what if you get hurt? You remember how you came down on your ankle in that game earlier this year? Oh, yeah, but that was nothing. Right, we know it was nothing, but next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but BAM! Just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. Well, maybe not flipping burgers. Maybe you're the manager or assistant manager at some burger joint. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and you're a delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom line is, you will be a long, long, long ways away from signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Don Pagnotti, as your mm. agent. So it's all about the money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. No, it isn't, sir, and no disrespect was meant. But freak, money is freedom the freedom of choice, the freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning, between being the waiter and being waited on. It's the difference between being the chauffeur or being chauffeured. Now, do you want to be a chauffeur? This here is a contract. 
This makes me your agent. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, it's not all about the money. Pete, let the man finish. He made his point. He's finished. Aren't you finished? I said my piece, but I know I'm right. You guys should talk. Pete. What if Frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't he take this opportunity now? What if the boy goes pro, gets hurt, and then doesn't have a college degree? Look how hard we work for him to get to where he is. But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's why we work so hard for him. I'm just saying. I mean, if he's ready to do this now as opposed to later, Pete, anything can happen. You're right. Anything could happen. This is his future. This You're is his life. You're not listening to me, Pete. Not just a game. All right, all right, all right. Mom, Pops. It's all right. Look, truth be told, I don't even know what I want to do right now. I understand that. Yeah, but I was talking to my boy Vic the other day. Why? He, and he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave early, too. You know what? I've, I, no, no, I've kept quiet this whole time, and I also think that Freak should join the league. I think it's a great business decision, and I think that Mr. Pagnotti is absolutely right. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. Now, Freak, I know for a fact that people have been talking about the company you keep, and you need to be careful. It could compromise what we're trying to do here. What are you trying to say? You know, your association with that guy Victor off the court, it could compromise your selection in a draft. As a matter of fact, I know it will. Do you realize the difference in dollars between being drafted first overall and 21st? You're talking tens of millions of dollars. You don't get it, do you? Cece, our first sneaker deal alone, you're talking a difference of a 50 to 100 million dollar difference. Just by that, number one, that's what we need. If I were not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted first overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play, this is the move, Freak. You've got to listen and to I'm, me. I, I absolutely hear you, but who are they to tell me who I can't hang with my brother? No, Freak, you need to listen to him. I've been telling you the same exact thing. Mr. Dom, Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted him. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. He, he's family. OK, but that's my boy, and he agrees with y'all. It's not about agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know, but it is his future. So this is so none of your business. You still, Excuse you me? Don't even yeah. Yeah. You still have a decision yeah. to make. Sign with no, me, yes or no. Can I just, can I just oh, interrupt your tone. for one sec? Everybody just settle down, please. Now, I appreciate you all taking the time in this heated discussion, but the truth of the matter is, there's only one person in the room that can make this decision. Now, son, you know how I feel. Right. Education is the most important thing in life, but this is your choice. It's not your mother's or your sister's or mine. Mm. It's not your girlfriend. It's not Mr. Pagnotti's, and it definitely ain't Victor's. This is your decision, son. So you tell us what you want to do. I need 30 seconds, Freak. OK. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you walked up to any one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you to graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 80 years old, and you will find them graduate. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. We need to strike while the iron is hot. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. I'm not talking first rounder. I'm talking first overall. Listen to me. This is what Mr. I do. I am the best at what I you do. Have had Nobody your 30 is better. Seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am sorry. You Mr. just need Bagnotti, to understand. Would you please let my wife speak? I apologize. Frequency. Baby, what do you want to do? OK. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Cece go through this contract front to back. I'm going to think about it, sleep on it, pray on it, and I will call you in the morning. All right. Listen, Mr. Pete, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone, and I look forward to meeting you both in person. Remember, everybody, this meeting never took place. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche. Okay. All right, Mom, Pops, 
En el siguiente video sabremos si Kareem Jackson decide ir al draft de la NBA y llevar sus talentos a la Liga Profesional de Baloncesto Americana en los Estados Unidos. Lali, tuberos, eso es Toño por este video. Estén atentos al siguiente video para conocer si es que Kareem Jackson va al draft y en qué equipo queda de tomar esta decisión. Eso fue Toño Presidio, como ya comentaba. No olviden seguirme en mis redes sociales, en Twitter y en Facebook para estar enterados de toda la actividad del canal y poder contactarme de forma más directa. Como decía también al inicio del video, si eres nuevo en este canal, te invito a que te suscribas. Si te gustan la NBA y otros deportes, aquí en Casa Deportes puedes encontrar todo ese contenido y mucho más. Una comunidad que ama los deportes y aprecio mucho a todos los que ya están aquí desde el inicio, a los que comparten la serie, porque gracias a ustedes esto ha crecido bastante. Estoy disfrutando mucho, mucho esta serie que ya decía que vamos a apostar demasiado por ella y me alegra ver que muchos de ustedes también la están disfrutando no olviden comer frutas y verduras para crecer como Karim Jackson y ahí nos solemos